What's up, Corners? Welcome to the first ever episode of GSU Crips. I'm your host, Brooke Lawson, and today I went to Jalen's dorm. She lives on the second floor of Tubman. So yeah, let's get into it. Hey y'all, it's Jalen. Y'all ready to see my crib? Okay, so to start off, first thing you see me walk into my room is my closet. So once you open up my closet, we obviously have my clothes. Down here is my jackets. I have leggings, sweatpants, jeans, and then further down, it's shirts, hoodies, and zip ups. On the bottom down here, I have my shoe rack. I got the shoe rack from Walmart. And this is basically the shoes that I wear on the daily for the most part, and up here, is shoes that I don't wear as often, but I still wanted to bring in case I needed them. I also have my cleaning supplies up here. I have my extra towels, um, some extra sweatshirts and clothes. And then further down, I have my laundry and my lotions, deodorants, perfumes, all of that inside my closet. What is one tip that you have for students on campus to stay organized? One tip that I would say is I like to label myself to keep it separated so I know exactly where to find stuff. And I also like to buy little containers from like Walmart. They're usually very cheap just so I could separate everything. I love that you organize all your stuff and you label them. I think labeling helps keeping everything organized. That way you know which thing goes in specific areas. So moving on from my closet I have my little kitchen area right here which consists of a microwave and my mini fridge and then I also have a couple cups and bowls that I got from Target with some plastic silverware and this is just for those days when the dining hall doesn't really have nothing and I'm still left hungry at the end of the night so I got to come back here and make something and in addition to that I also have my air fryer and blender in case I really need a real meal so I just pop a couple fries in there or something, or I make a smoothie for the night. So right next to my kitchen, I have my desk because I am still in school. So this is where I would like to do work if I'm doing work inside my room. I added a pillow and a blanket to my chair just to make it a little bit more comfy, a little bit more homey over here. And then I also have a calendar up here. Right now it's wiped down, but usually I would have any assignments that are coming up, any projects, anything like that, I would write it up here. Um, and that's about it for work. I also use this desk for like, just to fix myself up in the morning. So if I wanna do my makeup, I have a vanity mirror right here. I also have a couple lip gloss items, sunglasses, perfumes, little cosmetic items. And then underneath of my desk, I have a bunch of hair products, miscellaneous items, and just my scarves, bonnets, all that. I have them separated into three different containers just to keep it a little bit more organized. Right next to my desk is my nightstand which also has a bunch of other random little items. I have a lamp just in case I want it dark in here but not pitch black. I don't really like the pitch black. Um, I have this container for my pencils and pens. I have a couple candles and my Alexa for when I want to listen to music while I get ready. So this is my favorite part of the room, starting off with my TV. I like to watch TV every night before I go to bed. It just helps me put myself to sleep, usually cartoons or something like that. And then right next to my TV, I have my fan. I have to go to sleep with my fan on. I'm naturally hot, so I need to feel air on me to help me fall asleep. And then next to my fan is, of course, my bed. I love my bed. I have a blanket on my bed. just for extra warm. I have a couple pillows, so my bed isn't too overwhelmed, but it has a little bit of decoration on it and silk pillowcases so that my hair can be protected at night. I also have a couple paintings on the wall that I had hung up when I moved in. That's just because I was going for like a black and pink look for my room. I got them both from Marshalls, and I just love the simplicity of them. This also motivates me in the morning to make sure that I always put myself out there. And the last thing I have down here is my beanbag chair, just for my friends when they come over. I want everybody to have a seat and they can all feel welcome. So I brought that and a rug so that when I get up in the morning that my feet have something to step on. So what inspired your theme for your room? 
For my room, I know personally I really like minimalistic styles, so that was something that I was already going in with. But I also did compile a bunch of pictures from Pinterest, Google, just a bunch of social media. So I put them together and have like a little board, and I just took what I like from each picture. I just love the the black and pink theme so much. It like it suits you. Thank you. <laughs> So what is one thing that you brought from home to campus? One thing that I brought from home is my stuffed animal. I have a lot of stuffed animals at home that I love to keep on my bed and sometimes sleep with. But I only brought one to campus just because it is a smaller room. And this is one that I had gotten for my birthday. So it's a little bit more special to me. It's for my favorite game. And my friend gave it to me. Girl, that is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love stuffed animals. I sleep with my stuffed animals all the time so I can relate. Thank you guys so much for watching the first ever episode of Beauty Coach. Again, I'm your host, Brooke Molson, and thank you so much, Jalen, for having us do your room tour and being the first ever guest. Of course, you guys are welcome anytime. And we will see you on the next episode.